Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is noun phrase 353. The noun phrase today is family jewels. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If a person refers to a man's family jewels, uh, it is a euphemistic and humorous way to refer to a man's testicles. Of course, jewels could also have the literal meaning of jewelry that has been passed down from one generation to another. So family jewels could also literally mean that as well. All right, let's continue. Uh, the phrase is believed to date back to the Victorian era. At that time, it was considered lewd to even refer to legs, never mind testicles. Okay. Uh, people needed a more suitable way to refer to war injuries. Damage to that part of a man's body since a man's testicles were necessary for procreating, you know, creating a family and passing on the family line, it was considered of high value. Uh, a family's wealth was often judged by actual jewels, some jewels that they actually held. Uh, thus, by association, the term family jewels was born. Okay, so this is how it probably came about. All right, and we got five examples to show just how it is used. Uh, while playing professional baseball, a man must wear a jock strap uh, and a metal cup to protect the family jewels or to protect his family jewels. All right, number two, um, the karate expert taught her self-defense moves. If attacked by a man, try to disable him by kicking him in the family jewels. Okay, good. Number three. He is now impotent due to a war injury to his family jewels. Okay, good. Or number four, she accidentally hit him in the family jewels. All right, <laughs> you could say that. Uh, and number five, well, this goes back to the actual jewelry run. After grandma died, uh, she passed down the family jewels in her will. So that's the real jewels. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.